Hi YouTube, Dengus here. This will be the start of my Celeste Speed Walk series. I played Celeste for the first time on Epic Games for free, and it was such an amazing game that I bought it on Steam to support map mix games. I've also watched many speedruns and I've seen someone like TGH blaze through the game. However, I've never practiced any of the techniques, hence the speed walking. So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, let's get to it. Ooh, I'm gonna skip the cutscenes. I highly recommend reading this story though. Oh goodness, it's been a while. Yeet! Oh boy, is this my second time or is it my first time? Alright. I'll be skipping strawberries too, since I'll try my best to do things quick. <laughs> Oi. All that chapter 9 stuff could get in my way too, honestly, if I don't use things efficiently. Yeah. Ah, darn. Okay. Yeah, I forgot the timer. Darn. Uh. Yeah, that was dumb. I forgot the timer. Um. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, let's just continue. <laughs> Yikes! What do I even do here? Oh. Ah. That definitely could be more optimal. Hey, I did it. Two minutes. Alright. I am also gonna try for the... What is it? The no dash goat strawberries here. I've done it before, but let's see if I can do it again.
Ooh, okay. Goodness. So, if I remember correctly, you have to jump. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. I believe you have to jump from the top of the corner. There we go. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Um, this was... Yeah, just... It's like micro-spacing for this. There we go. Um, you could do this. I think this might be possible too. Yeah, it's possible, but I'll stick with the easier method. Um, let's jump over. Yeah, all of this is still the easy part. Yeah, this I say this is probably one of the hardest parts to get that golden strawberry. Oh. Right, I should uh, I need to set my bindings to see. Oh, never mind. I, yeah, I guess they have it already, but yeah. I think you need two jump bindings for some parts. Maybe not this part necessarily, but the one coming up. Okay, that definitely helps. Uh, I forgot what to do. I'll just use this crystal. <laughs> yeah, I'm tired. That works. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so right here, you need the double jump binding. Uh, ah, I missed it. This is really hard, I feel. But... Yeah. I think the reason why this game is so good is, uh, like, it's all in the pixels and everything. <laughs> for this double, ah, for this double wall jump to work, you're basically, so, what is it? I mean, I don't know the exact, like, uh, like, frame data or, no, like, the like collision bubbles or whatever, but it's like, if you're X amount close enough to a wall and you just press jump, you can wall jump off of it. This is without using the climb function, but... Yeah. Basically, if there's spikes on the wall, you could you can jump off of that without dying to the spikes, which is pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, you see, like, there's... You see, there's all the little details, too. It's amazing. Like, when you wall jump off, you see a little, like, uh, smoke poof, right? Like... If you see from the uh, spike jump that I did, you can see two poofs. One on the wall that I was on and like one on the spike wall. So it's pretty cool. Okay, yeah. It's pretty easy too. Nothing special. Hmm. Yeah, this was another tough part. Oh, I have to loop around. What am I doing? Oops, controller disconnected for a bit. Um, I wonder if I can use a double jump off that too. No, I can't. I think I can. Let's see. Yeah, it's been a while. Huh, that was cool. Yeah. 
just wondering if that will work. Ah, oh, darn. Yeah, this one's probably the one I have the most trouble with. Ooh, oh, I actually had that. That was crazy. Ooh, I got it. Nice. And then, uh, I think there's like probably just one more hard part. Easy, easy. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. I guess I could do that too, huh? Wait, I dashed. Oh no, I messed it up. Shucks. I had too fun, too much fun with that. Ah, uh, darn. A little longer than a few minutes later. Alright, let's not press the dash button again this time. Um, what do I do? Okay, yeah, it's that little wall there. And then the corner. Ah, missed it. Drop here, jump. Nice, nice. Uh. Hmm. Okay, so I can't do the regular, or not regular, the wall kick that takes no energy. I have to do a uh, Grab, jump, there we go. Uh, I have to make it quick though. Wait, what do I do after that? Let's see. I guess I just jump over there then. Oh, I can even make this. Huh. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Uh oh. Oh wait, I don't need stamina at the end actually, so that's okay. Yeah. Jump, jump. There we go. Nice. Oh wait, I need the <laughs> I need the dash for that one. another really hard part. Got a perfect spacing for this. Ah, done. No! Uh, I can't grab anymore. Yeah, so these things activate whenever you grab onto them with the climb button. And then, uh... Yeah, the hard part about this is, uh... You need to get up there without climbing. Because if you use up all your energy, you're not going to be able to grab that block. So, you have to do this... The wall jump that I mentioned earlier. Just getting close to a wall and jumping. But once you do that, you have to start drifting back right in order to make a continuous like continuous wall jump that uses no energy. But yeah, the goal of that is just get the right spacing and then grab onto it. But easier said than done. Ah, there's almost.
There we go. Uh oh. Oof. Okay, that worked. Alright. Just have to jump at the edge of the platform. This isn't exactly hard, but I could miss this. Okay, here we go. Alright, that's a golden strawberry. Oh, that was tough. I mean, would have been much faster if I didn't dash for the first run, but there we go. A ton of deaths for that. Awesome. Alright guys, this concludes the first episode of my Celeste Speedwalk series. If you've enjoyed the content, make sure to like, co comment, subscribe, and if you have any suggestions, you can leave them down below too. But yeah, I'll see you guys next week. This will be every Friday.